What's going on everybody and welcome back to the St. Thomas Dynasty here on NCAA 14. This is John J Gaming on the mic coming at you guys with another matchup today between our 15th ranked team in the country and the Old Dominion Monarchs. We are here in Virginia and it's going to be a good one man. Our last non-conference game of the season. Let's go ahead and make it a good one. So if you enjoy the content on this channel make sure you smash that like button. Hit subscribe if you're new. Let's go ahead and take on the Monarchs from Old Dominion University. Let's get it. All right, man. Defense on the field first. Time to get this thing underway. Set a tone as we do get blocked up early on. We do keep them in front of us, though. Jabari Williams only able to pick up six yards on the play. Not a way, to, not a bad way to start our Ivor team. As now we got the second and four. Burke dropping back. Gonna find a Smith over to middle. They're already at midfield for the Monarchs. Heck of a name, by the way. It's a fresh set of downs for the Monarchs. As now Burke once again going over the middle. It's another completed pass. Ryan Watson this time picking up 24 yards on that play, man. So they're gonna continue to move this thing down the field. They aren't. I guess, do they not believe in the, in the run? Because they have all been passes so far. Air raid with a no huddle. This could be trouble for us for sure. As now they do go to the ground this time. And it's Greg Austin taking it upfield. Gain of nine on the play. A near first down. Let's we'll see if the Monarchs can pick it up here. Third and one in the shotgun. Burke. Dropping back the pass. Going to throw short to Vincent. And he just barely, and I mean barely, picks up that first down, man. Gain of five. Now the Monarchs look to strike first. Can they get it done? Another throw up the middle to Jabari Williams. Nearly gets him in the end zone. But it's just, you know, first and goal. Still have a chance to make the stand here. Can we get it done? As we nearly get Burke down, but we couldn't make the tackle. Jared Scott was there, but Manuel Burke wanted the end zone more. Monarchs take the lead. All right, so let's see how our offense can respond, though, as we take the field for the first time on offense. Coley gets lit up like a Christmas tree, but bounces right back up immediately, though. You already know that this is an extraordinarily tough kid. As now, we'll drop back the pass. Noah Brooks looks around, finds Hudson the third on third down. DH, the DH Freeman coming through with that third down conversion. Keeping the drive alive for the Tommies. As now, we'll hand it off to Lucas Coley. He picks up nine more yards. Another second and one coming through, man. As now, first and ten. Brooks, hands off. He fought, he's No, he's going to fake it. He's going to keep it himself. Thought he was going to be able to get right back up, but that was not the case. Offense doing pretty okay, though, but we do have another third down that we need to convert. Brooks will drop back. He finds Isaiah Thomas with ease. IT making the catch for 12. Already across Monarch territory ourselves. Looking to make a response here, man. Throw another dart. This time to Pablo Sanchez. Beautiful throw for a gain of 13. What a way to get on the scorecard for the first time today. As we're in the red zone now, let's see if we can finish two. Going to Alex Garcia, but he drops it. That was incomplete. The big body receiver couldn't come through and make the catch in traffic. As we'll now go to Coley instead. He picks up 15. Was a little bit stuck by the one-yard line monster. But we should be able to get the job done here. First and goal. Coley in the end zone. Touchdown. Tommies. Lucas Coley. First score of the day. So here we go. Let's see how the defense can respond. Both teams scoring on their first drive. Burke dropping back. Going to throw two. Looks like Greg Austin for a gain of six. Nice little gain for the Monarchs. Seems like they're an air raid type of squad. And they've given us trouble early on. Not the best against the pass. You know, a very elite run defense though. Currently sitting number one in the nation. But pass, passing, you know, not so much. I think we're at number 90 going into this game. As Burke drops back to pass. Has some time. Going to try to throw it to the right-hand side. And it's nearly intercepted. Kevin Carter 
could have made a big play and that simply was just not the case should have made that catch man but as instead smith was wide open nobody accounted for him and we get burnt in zone coverage monarchs take the lead right back wow so that's a disappointing way to fail on third and eight now we need our offense to respond once again brooks will drop back the pass gonna throw short go get to lucas coley he able to pick up seven yards on the play Second and short coming up though. Gonna hit him with a play action. As we fake it. Brooks in the in the cockpit. But able to throw a great ball regardless. That's how this first quarter is gonna end, man. Very, you know, looks like a high octane kind of game ahead of us, man. Neither team having to punt the ball so far. So let's get it, man. Second and eleven. Brooks looking. Gonna go to the right hand side. Finds IT across the 35 yard line it coming through for the tommies on that play but can we get this first down though kind of struggling with the run game just trying to establish it as coley go try to get there he does not get any traction upfield lucas coley could not get the first down that means we had to punt this ball away so here we go man second and ten we get bamboozled by the halfback screen. No one can get there in a timely matter. As we're finally able to bring somebody him down from behind. We usually do a really good job of covering those halfback screens. But that simply was just not the case. As there go here comes Watson once again. Another first down for the Monarchs. Already with 150 passing yards so far. We're not even halfway through the second quarter yet. As that should help us out significantly. Buster Porter. Getting up in there, making the sack. Exactly what we needed, man. Second and 18 now. They actually go with the halfback draw. You know, we get some to the original line of scrimmage. But it's still going to be a very long third down. Let's see if we can actually get these guys to punt for the first time today. Because if we can't stop them on a third and 11, this could be trouble. As they look at this, Watson was wide open on that right-hand side once again. Just taking advantage of us of a hole that was in our zone coverage and it keeps their drive alive unfortunately as Leano Smith picks up another 11 yards another first down for Old Dominion as they look to make this a two possession game Burke dropping back the pass he throws to the left hand side finds Jabari Williams but it's out of bounds and it's well short of the marker so they also do settle for the field goal but we should have you know not have given up any points still can get some points of our own before the end of this first half as jamie smith fights forward for the first down thought he was going to be dropped out of bounds but jamie smith wanted that first down with authority as now first and ten brooks gonna keep it on the read option he's trying to get to the outside and he just picks up the first down marker noah brooks is listed as a scrambler but he seems more of a like a pocket passer but that time he makes a beautiful throw for the Tyreek Miller perfect dot driving down the field can we t make tie this ball game as we'll go to Tyreek Miller again this time he just gets out of bounds save our timeouts for right now pick up six yards great play at least a, a very good high Q play and that was nearly ruined by Tim White who got his hands on the ball but could not intercept it so let's go, man. Third and four. Brooks in the shotgun. He's going to drop back. Going to try to throw quickly to Tyreek Miller. But he's just one yard shy of the marker. But you know how we do things here, man. We go for it on fourth down. One yard. We can pick up one yard. As we fake it, Brooks is on the sideline. Can he get... Oh, he couldn't get quite make it to the end zone. Just a little short. But keeps the drive going regardless. Let's see if we can get to the end zone here. So we're looking, trying to throw it to Isaiah Thomas. We had him. Just was not the best thrown ball in the world. As it looks like Noah Brooks did get hurt. So here comes Owen Benfield. He's going to drop back. Throws a comp pass to Isaiah Thomas. Touchdown, Tommies. First pass of the day. Owen Benfield gets to the end zone. So it ties this thing up at 17. So now, all we got to do, 
you know, is just make sure that they don't get in field goal range here in these next couple of plays. Although that definitely will not help, though. A 20-yard run of the gut? You got to be kidding me right now. As they're now just a couple of first downs away from getting the field goal range. And that's going to get the job done for them. As Ryan Watson once again taking advantage of that right-hand side. They do get that field goal to go. And Old Dominion is going to be up on the 15th ranked team in the nation. Only up by a field goal. So Old Dominion is set to start the second half by kicking the ball over to us. Jesus so we're ready to take this kick. Let's see what he can do with it. He's got some blocks. He got another block. He's down the sideline. And no one's going to catch him as Jesus Sutterworth is gone. 101 yard return. Touchdown, Tommies. Jesus Sutterworth giving the lead back to St. Thomas from the gate. That's how we start the second half. Now let's see if the defense can take that positive momentum and get something going here, man. Burke's going to drop back to pass to start their first drive. Finds an open Vincent up the left-hand side. He gets him to the 40-yard line. Off that wheel route, too. Definitely a dangerous one right there. As they go to the left-hand side again, Billy Ewing. You know, wasn't that far behind Ryan Watson, but it's just a perfectly thrown ball. DB is getting burnt pretty badly today. As you know, those the outside, you know, just giving way too many plays on the outside right now. It's you know, just not unlike this secondary today. As the coach plays later, we got a second and six now. Burke looking around, he's got all the time in the world, and he finds another Michael Vinson 21 yards. Just that cutback, she's killing us today. As we cut the third and goal, can we get a stand though? Here they throw shorts and great. Oh, they nearly get into the end zone. I thought he was going to get it because that's just the kind of day we're having. But they do settle for the field goal. So for now, we do have a one-point lead. Just got to get the job done here. First and 10, Alex Garcia on the left-hand side. Tightly contested, but using that big frame in order to make the catch. Nice uh, play for our you know big body wide receiver. As Coley will pick up another nine yards on the ground. Who's been pretty quiet so far today. Nine carries, 35 yards. Just hasn't been able to make much of the opportunities. As we throw to the left-hand side. Tyreek Miller mossing somebody. As we get across the 30-yard line. First down for the Tommies. Great play for Tyreek Miller. He's really starting to emerge. You know, as a great receiver. In college football, you know, behind Isaiah Thomas and Alex Garcia. Speaking of IT, he does make a catch. That's short of marker. But, yo, it's only one inch. We can pick up an inch, right? We picked up one yard earlier, but we get stuffed this time. Lucas Coley could not get up in there. And now we hand the ball back to ODU, who has an opportunity to take the lead right back. As right hand side, they find Watson, who gets pummeled immediately by Jared Scott. But it goes for a gain of seven. So here we go. Second and short. Gonna send the blitz. Hopefully that uh you know doesn't mean the corners will have to cover for too long. As Burks will get around and look at this throw. Michael Vinson coming back and diving for it. You know, it could have been a lot worse, but still a first down. Just can't do anything right so far today. As we give another deep pass to Michael Vinson. This time it's Corey Johnson who gets burnt deep. As ODU looks to take the lead. But we force him back just a little bit as Manuel Burke tries to scramble. But Buster Porter was there to blow that up. So let's go. Setting the blitz again. Second and 14. It's Williams. Gonna get in the middle. He's in the end zone. It's a touchdown for the Monarchs, who will take the lead once again. But look at this. They're going to go for two. Want to make this an even seven-point game. Burke dropping back, looking around. Going to try to find somebody. He finds Smith on the right-hand side. Nobody was there. And Liano Smith gets into the end zone for the two-point conversion. And we are going into the final quarter of play. St. Thomas is on upset alert. Let's see what we can do to prevent the upset from happening here. 
on ODU's football field. Fourth quarter coming soon. All right, boys. Fourth quarter. Got to make something shake, man. Got to get a touchdown here. No questions asked. Brooks. Play action. Looking around. Got a clean pocket initially, but has to throw it soon as he finds Alex Garcia at the last second. Gain of 23 yards. Another first down for this Tommy's offense. As we're moving down the field, we find Coley once again. Another 10-yard gain. Another first down for St. Thomas. Already across the 50-yard line in ODU territory. But we got to finish here. Last drive, couldn't get a, an inch on a fourth down play. You hated to see it. But we got to focus on this drive right now. Third down coming up here. Hudson the third, I'm looking at you, hoping he gets open. He does not. Brooks will have to scramble. He gets sacked behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of two yards on that play. So let's go, man. Fourth and five. This is, this could be the ball game, you know, because we haven't really been able to stop their offense all day. As Pablo Sanchez makes the biggest catch of the game so far, gets the first down and so much more. Keeps the drive going for right now as we throw to Tyreek Miller. He gets just, you know, within a few yards from tying this game up. First and goal. Brooks looking. Going to try to throw to the right-hand side. He finds Jake Braun, and he's in the end zone. Touchdown, Tommies. Noah Brooks with his fourth score of this game, man. And is all tied up at 31. We just need one stop from our defense. Can we finally get it today? If there's one time for you guys to force a punt, this would be the time. As now, Burke dropping back the pass. Going to throw to the left-hand side. Finds Williams as Jesus Starworth can't make the tackle. Billy Ewing did eventually come up in here and clean that up real quick. As they're almost at midfield already. Next play, Burke. Looking around, has all the time in the world, but Matt Wade can't keep up with him as Michael Vincent, another huge game. They're already on the edge of field goal range. We really need a play from our defense right now as we don't get it right there, but thankfully they do drop that pass. So a third down is coming up here, man. This is the play. This is the time where the defense steps up. Can they do it? Burke dropping back. Looking, going to the right-hand side, and Kevin Carter couldn't get the ball loose. And it's a first down for the Monarchs. ODU instantly in field goal range. But, you know, now time becomes a concern. Wondering what they decide to do from here on out as, you know, it looks, looks like they aren't electing to try to run out the clock just yet. As we do get a hit on this quarterback, but it's not enough. Still finds a receiver, none of the less. First and goal now for the Monarchs. Less than two minutes left. Let's see if they do. They run it for the one a few times today. Billy Ewing can't make the tackle, and Greg Austin's in the end zone. It's a touchdown for ODU, and it's a seven-point lead for the Monarchs going into the final two minutes of play. So it all barrels down to this. Can Noah Brooks lead a game-winning drive? First play is going to go to Alex Garcia. He nearly picks up the first down, but it's not quite it. We call our first timeout. Couple plays later, we got a third and inches coming up as Noah Brooks stepping back in the pocket, looking. Going to get it to Adrian Allen, but he drops that pass as well. So that will be dropped as now first and, or not first and ten, fourth and inches, my bad. <laughs> got to make this first down happen, though. And it does an IT, and he gets us to midfield. Drive stays alive, and so do the hopes of the St. Thomas football team, man. We got to make something happen here. Second and nine. Try to throw it to IT again, but it's off target. Will be counted as an incompletion. So here we go. Third and nine. Let's see if uh, somebody gets open on the outside. Doesn't happen. Going to have to go to Coley, and it's read easily like an open book. A loss of five, and we have to call a timeout. So 4th and 14, if we don't get this, this ball game is going to be over. Noah Brooks dropping back. Going to try to throw one to Alex Garcia, but it's thrown short. Tim White breaks up the pass. 
And that's how this game is going to end. St. Thomas gets upset by Old Dominion by a final score of 38-31. to What a heartbreaking way to lose this ball game, man. You hate to see it. All right, man. So here is the scoring summary for this game today. Kind of went back and forth with Old Dominion. One of those things where we let the underdog hang in too long. And then they were able to pull it off in the fourth quarter. Last minute score, and we couldn't get anything done on that final drive, man. Looking at the stats for our guys, Owen Benfield did come in and throw one pass, which did go for a touchdown. Noah Brooks came in with the start. He had an okay game, 26 for 34, 262, and one touchdown. The running game, though, was definitely more contained than usual. Kobe, Kobe was our leading runner, but he didn't do much today. 13 carries, 3 yards, and a score. One of those things where Noah Brooks didn't have that bad of a game, but he had to do more of the burden on offense and just couldn't do enough. The receivers, though, we had a nice, great spread. Three different receivers touched the ball six times. Tyreek Miller, Isaiah Thomas, and Lucas Coley. Thomas had 54 yards and a touchdown. Jake Braun actually got into the end zone as well. He got a score on his only catch, but Tyreek Miller led the team in receiving yards. He had 80 and what was a great performance for Miller individually. Defensively, we had our starting safety, Jared Scott, lead us in tackles, which usually means we got beaten in the secondary, and that was the case for us today for sure. Kyle Barron and Corey Johnson also had six tackles not too far behind him. We did get one sack today in Buster Porter, but other than that, we didn't force any turnovers, and we didn't really force them to punt the ball either. So, difficult day for our defense. You hate to see it. It did lead to this this L that we just took. So next episode, we will wrap up the regular season, taking on the Tulane Green Wave, and you see those conference records. They're six and two. We're seven and one. So whoever wins this game will be representing the Western Division in the American Conference Championship game, and I think will be that side. Whoever wins is going to be able to host that conference championship game. So it's going to be a really good matchup regardless, man. If you enjoy the content on this channel, make sure you smash that like button as well as hit subscribe if you have to be new. This is John J. Gaming on the mic, hoping that you all have a wonderful day. Take care, everybody.